So I finally got Ryan to join on here because we were running out of things to record and talk about. So we thought, you know, we're gonna put a vlog out there. But just as we get ready to record the video, I got thrown something on my desk. And guess what I got thrown? A new mod! So we got the Panzer Blackhawk. So we'll be going over this beautiful device. And you can't really see it with my hand behind it. There we go. Now you can see the video. So we'll be going around this. We'll be talking about this later on today. Right now we're just gonna have a little chat because we got some good things coming up pretty soon here. Hopefully some really exciting things gonna be happening. Uh, we're gonna be go we applied for ECC, Electronic Sacred Convention, trying to be down there, trying to get a booth, showcase some of our mods, some of our uh, devices that we have out now, mainly our American Muscle, obviously, we're gonna be out there, but today I'm just gonna do a quick build and we're just gonna chat. So, we do these videos and we do these reviews all the time of all the different things we got, we realized that it's gotta be pretty boring just to sit there and watch a review after review, or watch a build after build. We're trying to get some more uh, subscribers as always. We've been climbing up over the last few months. We've jumped up to over 100 subscribers now. Thank you guys for subscribing to us. We do appreciate it. We do pay attention to all you guys. I mean, there's not that many, but we're hoping to get more. We're trying to get a lot more out there, trying to get the name out there. I mean, we're a small business trying to start up, doing the best we can. And we know the best way to do it is social media. All right. I'm going to get started on this thing. So what kind of build are you going to do there? I think I'm going to go with a 24 gauge parallel, my fallback build. When i got nothing else better to do, I'm always doing this build. So it was a reliable build. I know Ryan over here sees me across the desk all the time, just, hey, <laughs> <laughs> what are you building today? 24 gauge parallel. <laughs> hey, what are you building today? 24 gauge parallel. <laughs> Sometimes I'll throw them off. What are you doing today? 26 gauge parallel. <laughs> <laughs> now recently I've been running the IPv3 with the with the hobo on there and I just threw a 24 gauge 10 wrap on that one thought I'd change it up a little bit All right, let's get started if I get frustrated Ryan's in here with the cameo or Ryan's in here with the assist if I can't get this thing to work for me right away <laughs> All right, let's get this thing going but yeah, if you guys are going to the ECC, make sure to look for our stand. It'll be the gear spec stand. I'm not quite sure exactly where we're going to be stationed at yet. Still waiting for the application to get sent out. I heard back from them a couple days ago, letting us know the application will be going out soon. We did submit a form to get a space in there, so hopefully all things pan out for that. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a great event. Lots of good people. Meet a lot of cool people. I mean, I started vaping a long time ago, and then I started, I mean, I started learning from all these people over there that I hear I see all these juice lines out there that I've seen many juice lines go from nothing to something from this convention alone or a lot of companies just making a great name for themselves from these conventions because there's so many people there there's so many opportunities to do so well so we're putting all the effort we can right now into that into that showing it's not until August but even though it's in August it's still a lot of prep work before we can get before we can even get there I mean it's a lot of work needs to be done all right you want to come that for me thank you or straighten it out for me. Let's straighten this one out. You notice know, like most of my videos I like to straighten out all my wires before I do these parallels. Just get the malleability in that end these things a little bit. And that way when I fold them, when I wrap my coils, they kind of stay wrapped. They don't just, you know, spring back. I mean, like when you're messing with higher gauge wire, I might, pretty soon here I'm going to throw out a 22 gauge build. Just pick some of that wire up not too long ago. Of course, we're using our gear spec can though. This stuff's amazing, our gear spec canto. Yeah, go ahead and look at it. Surprisingly cheap too, I think 24 gauge is like, what's the price of that, Ryan? Uh, 8.99, I believe, somewhere around there. The 24 gauge or the 22 gauge? The 24? Oh, you know, that might be 7.99. I think the 22 is 8.99. Yeah. For 100 feet, it's a solid deal. It's a solid deal. And then we still offer free shipping on our website for that? Yeah, we still offer free shipping so for that, shipping. so. I mean, you can go to gear, looking to get some good wire, get the gear spec count though, it's some pretty good wire. I mean, it works pretty well. All right, why is the trans pretty straight? So the wire works pretty well. It's pretty cheap. We get free shipping on that. I mean, something to look into. Ryan here is in charge of all of our, uh, a lot of our graphics and a lot of everything you see. So a lot of the pictures you see online, or a lot of things you see around. Got to give him credit for that. Most of the social media that he does, he does all that. So he does a lot of work behind the scenes. He's just never in front of the camera. Me, I'm just, just a pretty face to look at. <laughs> Alright. 
have these pliers open around for the assist. We're gonna come down for me, fit it. Thank you very much. I'm gonna get started on this build right here. So I'm gonna start wrapping this coil. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna build up this uh, 24 gauge parallel. I'm gonna fire it on the American Muscle at first to get it all set up. I'm gonna throw it on that uh, Panzer, one of our best fire batteries. Oh yeah, we got uh, new batteries coming out too. If you guys are looking for a new battery to use, it's gonna be comparable to the EFES batteries, just a little bit stronger. And I'm looking forward to those. They'll be the new gear spec batteries. We'll have a gear spec logo on them. All right, and I got that part snipped. Then go ahead and install this first coil right here. And of course, I'm using the Doge from our company. I mean, you got to sell these Doges online as well. Some pretty mean Doges to have. I like them. Easily install just about whatever coil I want to install on these things. I got the first one in. While Ryan is doing that, I mean, this is the first time I've done a build from beginning to end. Like, when you guys see me unspool the wire, straighten <laughs> it out, get everything together. I mean, it's not up close because if you guys see me do this build, I don't know how many times on my videos. And if you're watching any of my videos, I've actually done this build a few times. That's because it's my favorite build. Everybody has a fallback. Yeah, actually, no, put down your comments if you can. Uh, can you tell me what your favorite build to do is? Like, what's your go to build? Because mine is a 24 gauge parallels. I range between four and five wrap, but that's that's my go-to build. That's what I stick with. That's where that's where home is for me. Is those those parallel builds. If you guys got any different type of builds out there, man, let me know. I'm always happy to try new builds. Always trying to find new ones. I mean, I can do all these crazy builds. I mean, there's all these like the zipper coils. I've done a chain link, done chain link builds, and lots of twisted coils. Done lots of different strand coils, different uh different amounts of coils inside of an RDA. I mean, I've done a lot of crazy stuff with these things. I just always fall back to this one right here. We got Ryan over there with our GEM mod. I think it's nice. All copper, comes with a couple extra tubes. Been using it for a couple weeks and really liking it. Alright, wrap this coil up, get this one installed, we get this thing wicked up. You wanna wick it up, Ryan? Yeah. Alright, Ryan will wick it up. But we'll have to wait till we get this next one in there. Because uh, I think I showed out, showed out last time, Ryan showed me a new wicking technique with the Japanese cotton. Because I'm usually twisting the ends up, and he usually just does a little slit at the end of it. I never thought about that. That just makes things so much easier. Just, I saw him do it, I'm like, you know what, that's a great idea. Why not ever think about that? It just makes <laughs> inserting these co this cotton so much easier. Alright, so I thought that part was getting a little dry, so I figured I'd just skip past to the part where I can just install this last coil on here. I had that all wrapped up and ready to go. There'll be times I'm just sitting there talking to somebody, knock this build out like five, ten minutes tops from <laughs> beginning to end, not paying any attention. Just kind of just going through the motions and just get it done. These, I've done this build so many times, it's become second nature, but still, still it wants to piss me off sometimes. Like right now, it's not wanting to be my friend. That's right. I don't need it to be my friend, I just need it to listen. If you guys haven't done so yet, I uh, gave a shout out a few times uh, Ryan's Instagram page. He has an Instagram page called Ryan Arts, uh, at Ryan underscore Arts. You should go check him out sometime and see a lot of his work. He does a lot of drawing. Like He's a great artist. There's a lot of the designs. Like, the design for the American Muscles is, is one of his. And then we got a new device coming out. Remember, guys, we told you about the Pitbull last week. Well, the Pitbull's coming in pretty soon here in the next few weeks. And the design on there is pretty nice. And then we have other box mods and other designs out there. You'll see. With Ryan's, Ryan's touch on there. And eventually one of these days my beard will be as magnificent as his is. <laughs> I'm like a beard in training. <laughs> Mine's like a beard in training. It's like getting there almost. Just yeah. just trying to catch up. But Just throw some Miracle Grow on it. Miracle Grow on there. I was wondering <laughs> if I could throw some Rogaine on it. <laughs> I've always wondered, has anybody ever tried that to put Rogaine on your face to see if it makes your beard grow faster? I've, I've always been curious about that. I never know if it works. If it works out, let me know. I'd be down to try it. <laughs> Like those patchy, like those those patches you get on your face that don't just grow any hair, just rub a little rogaine in those spots right there, see if it starts to grow in. Probably get one mean ponytail coming out. <laughs> Sick ponytail right there. Sick ponytail. All right, so now that both these coils are in. I'm gonna get them looking pretty now. 
kind of glad I did this because this RDA has been needing a rebuild for like a month and a half now. And I've just been a bit of... I just haven't really wanted to mess with it. I got all these other RDAs I have built up and other devices that I use. And like, this RDA has needed a rebuild for a while. I'm just pushing it off. I'm like, I'll do it later. I'll get home at night. And I'm like, you know what? I'm kind of tired. I'm probably doing a build right now. But then there are times where I just sit down and I'll build for hours. I'm just like, you know what? What's not built right now? Give me an RDA that's not built. I'm going to go ahead and build that up right now so I don't want to worry about it later. Ooh, almost done. All right. Okay. Let's not get any shorts. Uh, so you gotta make sure you pull the build. I mean, I love <laughs> you can hear the coils like cranking up on each other every time you heat this build up. So I always pulse it to perfection. Almost nothing needs to be done to this build right now. That is beautiful. All you gotta do is wick it up. For those of you wondering why I have such long leaves hanging off the end of my build, I don't like wire flying everywhere. Nor do the people that I work with appreciate stepping on canthal, so <laughs> try to make those leaves a little longer so I can hold on to it while I clip it. That way I don't have to worry about it chasing it down later because I don't feel like getting yelled at for another loose strand of wire going to somebody's foot or whatever happens. I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> just makes things easier in the long run if I do it this way. box is doing some work right now seeing as how it's only like a half battery forgot to charge my American Muscle last night which I mean it's been lasting me majority of the day but then again I've been using my Orchid on it which is only built at like a 0.4 so it makes things a little easier there we go not just for good measures, I'm going to clamp them tight. Alright Ryan, don't burn yourself please. Right. While he's doing that, I'm going to get the Blackhawk set up so we can start talking about the Blackhawk now. Alright, you guys sat through that boring build with little video right there, but you know, it's something different. Thought it's something I'd throw out there. Alright. Now, right, now, with the, the Blackhawk, a lot of people say that it's not, like, I've gotten like questions and comments about how it's not firing properly or shorting out batteries. Well, usually that's because this part right here, this little adjuster pin part right there, yeah, you probably really see it on the camera. Well, anyways, that needs to be adjusted to fit the battery snug, because if you have it too loose, when you put it on there, you get a mean battery rattle. Yeah, it's a battery shaking inside the mod. That's something, that's a big no-no. That's something you do not want. It's one of the least favorite things to have. Oh yeah, throw some juice on that bad boy. Oh, I guess it's right there, dude. Oh, okay, sweet. Alright. Now I get this thing adjusted properly right where I want it. Just a little battery rattle. That's how I test it to make sure everything's done right. Just a little battery rattle here and there. Just... All right. I'm excited to give this thing a run. I've always been a fan of the Panzer. Put the lock ring on this beast. Ooh, can I adjust that button so. Love when they hand me a fresh mod. I'm just like, oh great, a brand new mod. Man, now I gotta adjust this whole thing. It's never just given to you just, just the way you want it. I guess that's how most things are in life. Put the other thing in and see if I can adjust this. Alright. There we go. Now that button is flush. Definitely is flush. I lost top catch it. Alright. Everything's sitting flush. About to stop where it's supposed to. RDA is wicked up. Let's get a 
juice it up, give it a rip. I'm looking forward to this. Very much am looking forward to this. Nothing better than like you get a fresh battery, you get a fresh wick, you get a fresh build, some of your favorite juice, and next thing you need, that's just the best vaping experience for me. That's 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 what I look forward to. Like when I'm sitting there just sleeping over a build that's just annoying me when you finally get it done right. You finally get it wicked up, it's on the RDA, it's on your mod, everything's working properly, it's firing up beautifully, and that first hit you take from a fresh battery on a fresh build with a fresh wick. It's a trifecta. It's, it's, it's the best thing ever. I got that done pretty nicely. It's a very familiar wicking. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I've seen it before somewhere. <laughs> Not sure where I've seen it, but I've seen it before. Learned from the bath somewhere, you know? <laughs> you had a great teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, why don't you give me a little experience about your uh, vaping background? Uh, vaping, it's probably been close, I'd say six, seven months now. Um, started off with typical EVODs, um, starter kits. And that, they were good, and they satisfied for a while, but I wanted to get more into the technicalities, specifics of things, why things react the way they do, and found mods. It's been a, a fun road since, that's for sure. Yes. All, always knowledge to be learned, always something new coming out. And that's seeing uh, involvement of the community also is a great thing. Now, would you guys believe if I told Ryan I put him on the spot right now? <laughs> Get that rip right? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna take that thing off, put it on the Panzer real quick. Keep your eyes open though, because later on, probably next week, we'll be doing another Panzer video. More up close and more detailed video of what we're gonna do. Today we decided to do like a little blog. Just talk about stuff. And try to get more uh try to get more comments in here too. Like we do wanna see comments, we do wanna see what you guys wanna talk what you guys are talking about, we wanna hear it, we wanna know. Ooh, look at that Panzer rip. Ooh. That thing is monstrous. <laughs> now keep in mind, guys, Ryan's not a little guy. <laughs> By any <laughs> means of the words. <laughs> keep that in mind while I blow this cloud. Ryan's not a little guy. <laughs> So if you guys like, so if you guys want to see more of Ryan in these videos, I mean, I like having me in these videos. It takes a lot of the attention off of me, my measly beard now. I mean, the only thing I don't like is that his beard just completely makes my beard look like nothing. <laughs> like he has a man's beard, I have like a boy's beard in training. It's kind of upsetting, but yeah, I mean, we've been uh, been trying to get him to come into these videos. I cast him all the time to jump in. He doesn't want to do it. Uh, there's a few times. There's there one time he almost had to do a video for me because I was pretty sick that week. <laughs> but uh, I muscled through it, got it done, got everything figured out. It was, it was a good video still. Probably not one of my best, but it was one of the better ones. But if you guys are looking forward to it, if you guys haven't put your pre-orders in for the American Muscle V2, I suggest doing that. We've gotten a few in so far. And uh, the Pitbull the pit bull should be up for pre-order pretty soon here as well. Yeah, it's is up there? on the side. Yeah. yeah, so on the side right now, the Pitbull is up right now. I mean, I don't have one on me at the moment. I must have left that on my desk. But... You guys remember from last week, we'll be doing another video on that coming up soon when we do get the finished Pitbull product come in so I can show you guys all the details on that thing. It's still going to have, it's basically just going to be a cell phone battery with a charging port. So no longer will you need to have an external wall charger because the battery's going to be built into the device. You won't be able to take it out. But the battery they have in there is a 35, uh, uh, 30, 2500, 2500 mAh 35 amp battery in there. So it's a pretty mean battery in there to begin with and it charges pretty quickly off that uh, the charging port. Like I said, the charging port is the same charging port we're using the American Muscle now. This uh, this now has that one amp capa uh, one amp capacity charging port where you can put up to one amp inside of it. So the charger battery is pretty quick. And that thing does last you all day long. I have it charging right now because I burned through it last night, and then it gets passed around a lot because, like I said, it's one of the prototypes passed around within the company. So I'll hold on to it, then another few guys hold on to it, and then we just all give a run at it to see what we like and what we don't like about it. I mean. One person can know everything, and then each people have a different view on how they vape, and each person just vapes differently. So the best the best way to do it is to just spread it around. Wow, so most of our products that we get, they all go around to everybody before they come back to me, and then after I get everybody's review, after I get everybody's comments on all these devices, I'll come and do a review on them. So I can't really do a review on the Blackhawk yet because oh, I just got it. So 
<laughs> I'll let you know in a week what I think about it. Because <laughs> using it one time in the video just doesn't give it justice. You can't really give a good review after that. You have to know the product. You have to mean... You may know other products that are like it. I mean, I've had other Panzer Blackhawks that were nice, and they always work really well, but I can't base my experience off of those ones because it's not the ones that we have. It's not the ones that we've made. It's not our design of the Panzer. So I want to go through, test it, see how it fires, see how it works, if I have any problems with it, if I get any issues with it. I mean, I got I to gotta go through and I got to learn these products. I mean, I know the products from experience beforehand. I've tried them all. I've used them all beforehand, but... Even though I've used those products beforehand, doesn't mean it's the same as these products. So it's always nice to get these new devices out, that these new mods that we get built, or the new items that get sent to us, because that's that's like a it's like an early Christmas for me. I just see a bunch of new <laughs> products I get to play with all the time. That's one thing I like to do: is just play with vapes, play with them, I research them, I learn about them, I learn more things about them, I learn new things about them. And recently, you'll notice that our company's been stepping more towards the box mod company. We're gonna coming out with more box mods late, more pretty soon here. We'll have a few more out. If you go to ECC, you'll be seeing a few more of our new products coming up. Pretty sure we got a release coming out for that pretty soon. I'm um, working on uh, we're working on a newer box that we want to get sent, that we want to have ready for ECC, so we can debut it there, so everybody can see it then. So I mean, you might get a sneak peek of that one pretty soon. Maybe it's... depending on how <laughs> depending on how things go, we'll see if we can get that up there. We gotta make sure we get the box first, but hopefully it'll get here before the the event starts because. I'm looking forward to ECC. I can't wait to be a part of that event. I mean, it's a great event to be part of. It started, it was something new and it's it something of its, the first of its kind when it started and now it's blown into something so huge that everybody wants to go to, everybody wants to be a part of it. And if you haven't looked it up yet, I think tickets go out for ECC in May. Not May. June? I think probably, June. Yeah, closer to June probably. Like towards either, either the end of this month or beginning of next month, <coughs> tickets will start going out for uh purchase for that. I mean, if you know, I want to get those tickets quick because I'm pretty sure they're going to sell out pretty fast. It's going to go quick. It's always a good event to go to because you see the new mods that are coming out. You see the new uh, juice lines that are going to be coming out. A lot of juice lines will be over there today, over at that. I mean, I'm looking forward to meeting a lot of these creators of these juices, a lot of the, the founders of these juice companies. I mean, a lot of the juice companies that are going out there are a lot of my favorite juices. Like, I'm looking forward to see Local Vape. Local Vape is one of my favorite juices. Like, that Local Vape... When they came out with Buckshot, when they came out with Lighthouse, those things like that, like uh, they came out with a uh, Time Bomb. Those things were, those, those are juices of their, of their, the first of their kind that I tried them. Those are juices that changed the game for me, like when I tried them, because I've been sticking on running hide, Grim Creations running hide for, I don't know, like two and a half, three years now. I've had this juice, and I've always, it's always been my fallback juice. Whenever I get a chance, if I ever see that juice, it's always a juice I grab. Never really paid attention to any of the other ones, because I mean, I found something I liked and I stuck with it. But, uh, being stuck in a place where I can't barely find this juice anymore, I have, to, I have to, I have to look around and find better juices, to find other juices that I like. And I've I've gone through a good slew of juices since being here. I mean, I, met, I found a lot of juices down here that I really liked. I found a lot out here that I really didn't like. <laughs> but it's each is uh, I mean, me, I'm more of a I like I like fruity juices. I like uh, fruity mixes. I mean, if you guys have any juices, any ideas for juices like that, I should try. Go ahead and let me know in the comments. I mean, I've tried quite a bit of juices out here, and lately I've been getting to cereal juices. And one of my favorite cereal <laughs> juices that I've liked so far is Looper by Animal. Yeah, that's that really juice good. is amazing. I think Ryan is the first one to show that juice to me, and ever since you showed <laughs> it to me, every time I see that juice anywhere, I'm like, oh, I don't know what juice I want to get. Yeah. Well, we got we got we got Looper. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a couple bottles of that. Let's go ahead and throw that into the cart. I'm gonna need that one. Instant buy. That one in that uh, Nora's Dream. Nora's Isles. Dream. Yeah. Nora's Dream was something delicious. Some of that Isle 7. Mm. Jesus. Oh my goodness, that was amazing juice. That was really amazing juice. But those are more like, I don't know, like the cereal, like the cereal juices kind of changed the game too. I mean, it used to be either you were tobacco, menthol, fruit, or custard. <laughs> <laughs> Those were like the four juice types you had out for the longest time, and now we got these cereal juices. Now we got these candy juices. Now we got all the different mixes and types of juices, like fusions of two other juices. I mean, yeah, some of the combinations that people come out with are amazing, amazing. <laughs> to have that type of palate to sense those tastes and create those. Eventually, perfect. eventually we'll step into juices. At some point in time, we'll get started on that. So. I don't know exactly when. It's something I want to start doing eventually is just getting our own juices out there because, I mean, I want to make a juice that everybody's going to love. 
I mean, it's one of the harder things to do. We have to create a good juice line to find a juice that everybody's going to enjoy. I mean, that's 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 a tall task right there just to find that. <laughs> I mean, I can't think of a single juice that everybody loves. I can't think of a single juice that everybody loves. Actually, you know, can you do that too? Comment what your favorite juice is. Well, we, we can look into it. Probably pick a few up. And uh, like I said, we're based over in California, so we have a pretty good selection of juices that we can get. It we can find. I mean, we just got to go to different various vape shops. There's only thousands of them in the state. <laughs> pretty sure we can find a juice company somewhere. Somewhere, <laughs> somewhere we can manage. I think, I think so. we'll manage on finding it pretty well. I mean, usually most of these people sell online too, so we can find these juices online. Like not so long ago, I tried this juice called Trolley, which was a sour gummy juice. <coughs> I got it over at a, I was at a vape bar, and when I was there, I actually met the creators of the, the created trolley, and I mean, I tried, I've tried trolley a few times before that, and I fell in love with the juice, went through like five or six bottles, and then I finally went up to pick up more juice up, and the guy was there that created it, so I mean, I had to shake his hand, check my Instagram and see him on there, I mean, it's, it's crazy, and if you guys haven't seen my Instagram, it's at the cloud machine, at D-A cloud machine, all one word, so I mean, if you guys get a chance, go ahead and check it out, see some of my videos, see some of my, uh, some uh, pictures I've taken with a lot of these people out there. I mean, it's a lot of cool stuff going on. Be sure to keep your eyes open pretty soon here in August, because uh, August 16th, I believe, is when the event starts. ECC over at Fairplex in Pomona. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to that. We got our booth ready. We got our. Oh, Ryan here's our designer too. So you'll see the you'll see the banner you over there, the stage you see over there. That'll be that'll be his work. <laughs> You're gonna have his banner just plastered. I mean, he gets paid to graffiti everything, man. How, how awesome is that? It's an exciting job. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> what more could you ask for, dude? You get paid to draw. I mean, I feel like now, now I know how like uh, how Nathan and Caldwell from Drawn from Drawfee off YouTube feel. I mean, that's gotta be yeah. pretty nice. I mean, I love watching their videos. It's always a good. It's a good amount of comedy. Their juices, they're, they're not the juices. What am I thinking? Juices. Their pictures. Their pictures are hilarious. I look through and I just, I just enjoy watching them. I mean, I can't really draw for anything. I mean, I can't draw at all. I've tried. I've tried really hard, like really, really hard to draw anything. And I realized that you know what? I think I'm gonna stick to coil building. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> I can build a mean coil. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay at that one. Alright, well thank you guys for watching these videos. I'm Larry. I'm Ryan. Hope you guys enjoyed watching them. So uh, make sure to like us on Vine, Instagram, Twitter, what other social media platforms do we have? Uh, Instagram, uh, Gearspec Faith on Instagram. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, pretty no. much it. So make sure to like and subscribe. Get more videos out for you guys. Keep your eyes open for the Panther review as well as the uh, Pitbull review. Alright, thanks for watching. Thank you.